Before I decode pi, okay, I'm looking at 1 of 7 of 13 of 110 of 2143 backwards, which is a heart string. It's like a 1 by 5 in the heart. And you're flatlined. I always heard a heart string. Heart string. Celebration rock, guys. Here was the seeds. The creation of a seed happens when the one by two is created. Okay? So, let's have a look see. are created. Gotcha. But you're creating a seed and what's going to happen is it's going to go, you know, we have to count for the four plus ones, let's say, so it's going to go one, two, three, four. And that's where it's going to rest. It hit the dirt. Spend to the three by three, and we start this daisy daisy chain. You know, it's like waterfalls. Okay, they're at different times and different bignesses. But like, where does that one by three even get created? Anyway, I'm assuming that's when the seed decides to fall down. Day three happens, then you have a one by four daisy chain going down. Oh, okay. So let's just say the seed that fell down planted itself in the earth. You know the dirt where you live? Day three, all of this created up to the middle of the matrix guy. I.O. Input output. Day four happens. Time. You gotta wait some time and love and water your seed for a plant to grow. Usually what happens is that one end of the seed will grow roots and the other end of the seed will sprout upwards. <laughs> okay, and then fall down to show the Transformation, that's the end of the luminaries being created in Genesis 1. So your waterfalls on your...
your seed that is planted into the earth, okay, where one side of the seed it will be going upwards to create this. And the other part of the seed will be going downwards to create this mess. Just that. It's your anchor. It's your sticky outy bit. Does it? It's the end of the route. And you take your five to one, man. One. Two, three, four, five. To the center of a flower where the seeds come from. So if your seed's chilling here, it makes sense that one end being the root and one end being the stem is your 75 or your Five, seven, but they're both circled. That's the 24th letter for six. 75 circled. Let's appreciate this for a second. kind, you know? Like a wormhole. Like a wormhole. Because you got, if you don't till the earth, man, and these are like natural earth tillers. Yeah, to call someone a worm would be considered derogatory. plants man there's a was it bicuspid or something whenever, whenever a seed sprouts and shoots a little thing up it's gonna go one two and one two is your crucifix man it's a one by one not a one by two and it even bears the seed of its own kind look you have an 11 11 in a seed because it makes seeds the middle of plants does. I mean, what are we talking about here? We're talking about a four is a one. It makes sense. Eleven eleven. It makes these. It's also a petal, you know what I mean? And again, the whole revelation thing is like, look at all the things it needs to actually do this. Bypasses this one, it bypasses these three, and doesn't touch these. 28. There are seven vials cast in Revelation 16. You have to know that a one is a four. You have to know that a one is a four. You have to know that a one is a one, two, three, four. Because the seven vials are not seven vials. There are seven one by fours. 28. Now there's 29. I'm 
this one right here. My bad guy. That one doesn't count because this is like your white hole. <laughs> but that one counts. I messed up. I messed up. That one counts. I forgot because this this is a, a maple leaf tree. It's like in a helicopter. When it falls, it spins. Okay, it doesn't fall down linearly. It doesn't hit certain things, but it hits this one. It's a mirror. That's Revelation 16. You have to understand that a 1 is a 4, and the 7 vials are the 28 cells to create this with your white hole 5 to 1. Yeah, and you need to know about a 3 to 1 too. So I hope this shows you how important 3858 is. The definition of Reckoner is a table or device designed to assist with calculation. seed falling to here so it can grow roots and upwards probably your L. Hmm. All right, we said this last night after work, so I looked it up and it's been sitting there. So anyways, I thought it was a pretty epic list. So yeah, you could do whatever you want to do. I'm discern away guy. You know best. <laughs> uh, it's just a point of view.